Ultra League is arriving back in Go Bati League and today we are diving together pretty early on Ultra League to cover my best team so that you can have the upper hand over your enemies on your very early battles in Go Bati League and Ultra League. So today we're gonna showcase not only 4 teams in total but also we're gonna go in depth with their core breakers and of course their biggest assets so that you can have a better understanding of the meta. So right here starting off with a the very first team showcase we're gonna have Golisopod up in front. I really like this Pokemon, I think has a lot of possibilities to be one of the best leaders in uh, the Ultra League in total period and of course at the back we have uh, Red Steel and Gresselia. Those two are a bulky backline, you can use them on any team composition, uh, pretty much they are the bread and bread of any burger uh, that is kind of an Ultra League level and of course in between we're gonna have Golisopod and in this this team it is gonna be the leader of this line. I like how easy it is for this team to manipulate a lot of battles, even the two shield scenario you can even beat a whole red still up in front with your Coli support and overall this team is looking pretty good. When I play this team I always try to rotate around my Cresselia because I have two bulky options overall that can definitely handle any threat out there and with those two Pokemon at the back able to get all the damage on their HP levels uh, this is gonna be absolutely great for your your goalie support because that goalie support can return to the battle and start doing some solid work with those cytoclos, with those liquidations or even the egg scissors. As you might see over here I have aerial ace but mainly I have that because I was afraid of a Virision uh, but then that I was uh, thinking about the steam composition well you also want to have egg scissors for sure for those Cresselias which are pretty much everywhere on the ultra league format. So with that in mind it's up to you, you have to obviously use no matter what your liquidation in combination with Shadow Claw, but for your second charge attack, I would go for Egg Scissor, even though I have Aerial Ace over here. As a core breaker, Stunfish can do a lot of solid work with those rock slides against Golisobot, but of course, you still have those uh, liquidations. It has Earthquake to threat that red steel, but of course, you still got Focus Blast, and the steel typing will not be appreciated much defensively by your Cresselia, but still, it is gonna be a very close battle because we're taking a look at a pretty bulky line, especially the back line, that can even handle its core breakers towards uh, the ending of its battle because it's gonna take a while for its battle to unfold. Now for the next team showcase, we're having a line that helped me reach Legend in the previous season. Uh, so I was definitely using this team with Charizard over Talonflame, I know, uh, but I still think that Talonflame can be a better fit for this team, especially with Brave Bird. Uh, because with Brave Bird, you get extra coverage for those type of Finis and Jellicens that are gonna be also everywhere alongside Cresselia. Uh, so as a core breaker here, we have Agron. I want to start from there to analyze the team, because Agron is not gonna be that much around but still if you happen to encounter one of these pokemons well unfortunately you either have to sacrifice your talonflame up in front or just switch into gridant and hope for the best with those crunches uh, to be honest you do not have a clear answer against this pokemon uh, but still i'm not sure that if you are gonna see this pokemon uh, around it is gonna be that meta so definitely you can avoid it towards uh, the long term of your sets uh, so as a closer here we have a trevenant which can do a lot of solid work with those shadow balls even after the nerf on seed bomb it still has a lot of play in ultra league because it doesn't rely a lot on seed bomb to be useful you can still use your seed bomb of course but still that uh, shadow ball is gonna be your main way to go against most threats uh, i used to use uh, uh, charizard over talonflame on my legend run the last season but i think that talonflame here is just gonna uh, connect as a bigger leader for this team and of course greedon on the safe sweet spot can neither uh, do a lot of solid work on the enemy uh, with those body slams or just debuff them all the way with those crunches. The biggest antagonist on the safe switch is gonna be something like a Cobalion I believe but still you're gonna have a lot of coverage against Cobalion with the other two Pokemon so you can see as to how you can utilize the synergy with this team in order to win big in Go Battle League and Ultra League. From Town of Flame to Charizard, the next team showcase will blow your mind because we're using an Alolan Sansas at the back, an Alolan Deity as our closer on the face of Tapu Fini, and the safest switch of them all, regular Charizard. What I mean by regular? Non Shadow, because you want to have extra coverage for that Swambert, and of course, Charizard with not being Shadow can definitely help you with that, especially if you have a high rank. I have a rank one, and I am all on 
on board with that Pokemon because I can definitely handle one Hydro Can with this while the Shadow cannot and still deliver the lethal blow with those Blast Burns if your opponent doesn't shield, which is pretty great when you're having a safe switch on the face of uh, uh, Charizard. And that's why I like it more than Talonflame for this team composition. You want to go in aggressively in there with your Charizard, draw that Swambert out, and I think you're gonna be on a very good spot with your with your Alolan Sunslash or with your Tapu Fini on the end game or whatever it means at the back. Core breaker of this team, Deoxys, only because of its counters dealing so much damage on that poor Sunslash, and of course has access to Rock Slide to threat even your uh, Charizard. Also, it has access to Thunderbolt to threat your uh, Tapu Fini out of existence, but still you can see that there are ways to play around it because it might have high defense, but its HP levels are not that high and still you can manipulate that factor towards your advantage. This team requires a lot of pressure from your side to your opponent with those charge attacks, so take advantage of that for sure because you have Drill Run, you have moves like Blast Burn, like Moonblast that can definitely destroy them the opponent and of course each individual Pokemon doesn't have only nooks but also cheap moves to bait for those shields. Even a Nice Punch, even a Surf or a freaking Dragon Claw can help you a lot against the Ultra Link meta, so be sure that you can take the full advantage of this team because you can definitely grow big in Ultra League with this line in particular. I'm super excited for the final team showcase because we're having the Articuno up in front and another legendary at the back on the face of Cobalion. We're also using Swambert as our closer you can, so you can always see that this team has a lot of potential with those charge attacks. I really like Articuno up in front because of the debuffing move Icy Wind and of course I recommend going with Hurricane over Ancient Power because with Hurricane you get extra coverage against threats that you cannot with uh, Ancient Power and of course you can cut unsuspected opponents, something like a Swambert of the opponent with a simple hurricane to destroy it down on the long term of the battle. So how you want to play this team? You want to rotate aggressively around your Cobalion in order to have the upper hand against your opponents with your Swambert. Once again, this is an ABB team uh, style weak to Trevenant, so we might not share the same typings on the back, but the weakness is gonna be the same. So by drawing out that uh, uh, Trevenant with your Cobalion, finish it off with your Articuno or any other grass type to be honest, then your Swambert can absolutely go to town against whatever remains at the back, even a Giratina will not see what has to offer against your Pokemon because uh, those Earthquakes are still gonna connect for big damage and of course Hydro Cannons can be used for coverage or to take some cheap shields out of the opponent. As a core breaker here, Tapu Fini, the Alolan Deity that we had on the previous team composition, yeah that one is gonna be the core breaker so you can definitely appreciate the previous team composition even more here because it is gonna be a core breaker and of course uh, you can see that Tapu Fini has a very good battle obviously against uh, uh, the Earthquake version of Swambert because against Sludge Wave it is gonna struggle but still it isn't worth it to run Sludge Wave on your Swambert and of course has good coverage against Articuno and Cobalion however it is still gonna have pretty close uh, wins against every individual pick of this team so you can definitely play around it. Uh, about Swambert now, you can definitely use the Sado version, but I recommend going for the regular one because you can survive a little bit more than usual on the Ultra League level, but if you want to go all in, just go with the Sado and you are not gonna regret it. So that is gonna be all for today trainers, thank you for watching and for staying till the end, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go and, and of course consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of my content here on YouTube, so why not do that? Also before you go I have two videos for you to check out so feel free to do so and I will see you all into the next one.